Now let's return to Act uh, 3, Scene 4, the second part of the scene. Yes, so after wishing fair thoughts and happy hours and, and uh, uh, I wish your ladyships uh, all hearts content, etc. Lorenzo and Jessica go out, exude. And now we have on the stage Portia, Nerissa, Balthazar. Remember, Balthazar had entered the stage with Portia and Nerissa, but uh, both uh, Balthazar and Nerissa were quiet all this time. And I haven't introduced to you who Balthazar is. Balthazar is a very faithful servant of Portia. Yes? Okay. Now uh, we shall see why I divided it, uh, this scene into uh, two parts. Is so that you can see what Jessica, sorry, what Portia tells Lorenzo about her plans and what her real plans are. Portia has told Lorenzo that she wants to go and spend her time in prayer and contemplation in a monastery with Nerissa until their husband's return. But that's not so. Portia is a very, very clever woman. Keep that in mind. Portia has some other plans. Yes? Now she will reveal her plans to Balthazar, to Nerissa, as well as to us. Now Balthazar, Portia says, As I have ever found thee, honest, true, so let me find thee still. This is the character of Balthazar. Uh, Portia says, Balthazar, I have always found you very faithful. Let me find you faithful today also. Take this same letter, she gives him a letter, and use thou all the endeavor of a man in speed to Padua. Now, in this scene, please remember, certain names are very important. One is Balthazar, and the second one is Padua. So, Portia says, take this letter, and as quickly as possible, go to a place called Padua. Okay. See thou render this into my cousin's hand, Dr. Bellerio. Go and give this letter to my cousin, Dr. Bellerio. This name is important. Cousin, Dr. Bellerio. And Dr. Bellerio is not uh, a doctor of medicine. He's a lawyer. Keep that in mind. He's a lawyer. Okay. And look, what notes and garments he doth give thee. This is also important. What will Bellerio do? Valerio will read this letter and give some notes and some garments. Since he is a lawyer, he'll give a letter of introduction perhaps and he will give garments. That means the lawyer's uh, dress. Bring them. Yes? So uh, Balthazar has to bring them. I pray thee with imagined speed into the Tranict. Tranict is the place where you will board a, a, a boat and go to Venice, to the common ferry which trades to Venice. So Portia says, Balthazar, bring the notes and the garments and don't come back home. Go straight to the Tranict and uh, the, the Tranict from where we board a ship or a boat to Venice. Waste no time in words but get thee gone. I shall be there before thee. Don't talk anymore. Go quickly and come back quickly and I will reach the Tranict even before you reach there. Now, uh, let me tell you about Portia's plan. Portia has planned to dress up as a lawyer uh, uh, and take Nerissa as her, uh, as her clerk and go to Venice uh, in the court and, and uh, fight the case for Antonio. Of course, she has sent her husband, Vazenio. Of course, she has offered financial help. But Portia is so clever, so intelligent. She knows this will not be enough. And she knows that she has to step in and do something uh, with her wit, with her presence of mind. And she has to somehow uh, twist the case to Antonio's advantage. Fine. Balthazar agrees to go and says, Madam, I go with all convenient speed. And after that, uh, Balthazar goes out. So it is. Exit. Moshia says, Come on, Nerissa. I have work in hand that you yet know not of. We'll see our husbands before they think of us. So Portia says, come, come, Nerissa, I have some work which you cannot even imagine. And uh, we will meet our husbands even before they, uh, they can imagine it. And Nerissa says, shall they see us? Will our husbands see us? And Portia says, they shall, Nerissa, but in such habit 
that they shall think we are accomplished with what we lack. So Portia says, yes, Nerissa, they will see us and they will see us in a different habit. Okay, now this word habit, there's a pun on it. What's a pun? When you're playing uh, with the words, when one word has two or more meanings, then that is a pun. Now, the word habit, of course, means manners and it also means clothes. So Portia is telling Nerissa that uh, Nerissa, our husbands, that is Basenu and Graciano, will see us in a totally different habit, in different dress and also in different manners. And they will uh, think that we have what we lack. Now what is it that Portia doesn't have? Portia doesn't have masculinity. Portia is not a man. Now when she goes to Venice, Portia is not going as a woman. Portia is going disguised as a man. You might ask why? Why does Portia have to uh, dress up as a man? Let me tell you, those were days when uh, uh, women did not become lawyers. It's not like today where women are uh, free and educated and they take up careers of lawyer and doctors and all that. It wasn't like that. So it was quite impossible for a woman to go and fight a case in the court. Therefore, Portia has to dress up as a man and take Nerissa as her clerk. Okay, now uh, let's quickly do it. I'll hold thee any wager. W-A-G-E-R wager is a bet. When we are both accorded like young men, when we are both dressed like young men, I'll prove the prettier fellow of the two. I'll look much better than you naturally. Portia is much more beautiful than Nerissa is. And smarter also. And wear my dagger with the braver grace. In those days men carried a dagger. So she says, I will carry my dagger in a much braver manner. And speak between the change of man and boy with a reed voice. So I will speak in the voice of an adolescent boy. A boy who is in the stage of boyhood and manhood. And change, sorry, uh, sorry. And turn two mincing steps into a manly stride. Two mincing steps is the way a woman walks. I will not walk daintily like a lady, but I'll walk, uh, but I'll walk like a man. And speak of phrase, F-R-A-Y-S is fights. Remember, men spoke a lot about fights. If you remember, uh, Prince of Morocco coming and uh, telling Portia that I, I killed uh, the Prince uh, of Sophie. I killed the, uh, you know, I, I could uh, snatch a, a bear from its uh, mother's uh, bosom. I, I can make fun of a lion, you know, a hungry lion. In other words, men those days boasted a lot of their physical strength and fights. Okay. Like a fine bragging youth, like a fine uh, boastful youth and tell quaint lies and tell strange lies. How honourable ladies sought my love, which I denying they fell sick and died and could not do withal. And then I'll repent and wish for all that that I had not killed them. So what else will she do? She will say that how many honourable ladies have fallen in love with her and she could not accept their love and how they died. Once again, like Prince of Morocco, who had said that the best women of uh, his country have fallen in love with him. Yes, so she will say that many honorable women fell in love with me, but I could not accept their love and then they died. And today I, I just uh, feel very sad for them. I wish I hadn't killed them. Okay, now, and 20 of these puny lies I'll tell. I'll tell 20 of such uh, small uh, trivial puny is trivial lies. Okay. That men shall swear I have discontinued school above a 12 month. When I speak this way, people will think that I've just uh, left school. You know, a, a bit older to uh, you children. Okay. I have within my mind a thousand raw tricks of these bragging jacks, which I will practice. And I have in my mind many other crude tricks of these boastful men, bragging jacks, boastful uh, young men, which I will then uh, show you. But come. I'll tell thee all, all my whole device when I am in my coach, which stays for us at the park gate, and therefore haste away, for we must measure 20 miles today. And after that, they both go out, exhibit. So finally she says, come, I have a lot of plans, device, D-E-V-I-C-E, -E, device is plans, about which I will tell you when we sit in our coach, and our coach is waiting for us near the park gate. And let's not waste time. 
we have to travel around 20 miles today. So this is Portia's real plan. Dress up as a man, go to the port of Venice and fight for Shiloh. Sorry, fight for Antonio. Fight against Shiloh, that is. And also remember, where does Balthazar go? To a place called Padua, to meet Dr. Valerio, uh, to take the, the garments, that is the lawyer's clothes, and the notes that he shall give, come straight to the Trenect, and there Portia will be waiting for them. Yes?